video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Okay, here is our cooking video, and this is our voiceover, so enjoy the video. <laughs> Step number one, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. This causes the molecules to start to move fast and to hit each other. This is an endothermic reaction where heat is going into the oven. We started by boiling our noodles, which is a physical change. Then we added two tablespoons of olive oil in a large pot over high heat and added chopped up onion and garlic. We cooked until it started to brown. This was an endothermic reaction where heat was entering the olive oil from the surrounding pot. This is a chemical reaction, um, pyrolysis, and it's a reduced end surface tension. We added turkey salt and pepper and we cooked until all the moisture evapor evaporated and the meat started to brown on the edges. This created a heterogeneous mixture and an endothermic reaction. Then we added tomato sauce and tomato paste and reduced the heat to medium and brought the sauce to a simmer. This was a physical change. Then we cooked down the sauce until the mixture became thick, which was also a chemical reaction. Next, in a small bowl, we combined the ricotta cheese, basil, egg, and parmesan, and we stirred until it was smooth. This created a physical change, homogeneous mixture, and a chemical reaction because the egg broke down bonds. Next, we greased a large oven-safe metal bowl with the remaining olive oil and then laid about half the noodles alongside the bottom of the bowl, fanning them out in overlapping patterns. Um, the end of the noodles hung out over the bowl. This is a physical change and it reduced the surface tension. Then we sprinkled half the mozzarella onto the bottom of the bowl and on top of the noodles. This will help bind the noodles together. This was a physical change. Then we spread the ricotta mixture over the noodles, then the layer of the rest of the noodles, with the rest of the mozzarella, then the rest of the meat. This was a physical change and a heterogeneous mixture. Then we folded the edges of the lasagna hanging from the sides of the bowl, overlapping. This created a physical change. We covered it with foil and baked for about 45 minutes until it was cooked thoroughly. This was a chemical change. Okay. Meanwhile, in a saucepan over medium heat, we melted butter and adding flour, whisking continuously for about two minutes until paste forms. This was a homogeneous mixture, a physical change, and a chemical reaction with the butter. Then we added hot milk and continued to whisk as the sauce thickens and comes to a boil. Then we seasoned with salt and pepper and added parmesan. Reduce to low heat and cook while whisking for two to three more minutes. This was a physical change, a homogeneous mixture, and an endothermic reaction because the heat was going into the sauce. We inverted the lasagna dome onto a plate and this created a physical change. Then we poured the sauce over the dome and enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you try this at home. Okay, hey guys, so this is our cooking video. I hate how I can see you. <laughs> oh, run your back, Turbo. That's problem solving. Should I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the moment I drop our whole project. <laughs>